welcome to EC Electronics. Today's video, we are going to see the detailed syllabus and important topics from each subject for the post of ISRO Technical Assistant. This is applicable for uh, ISRO Technical Assistant of HSFC, SDSC and also for the upcoming VSSC examination. Okay, so let us see what are the important subjects and various important topics of each subjects which you have to uh, concentrate more when you are preparing for the technical assistant examination and also we will be seeing the marks allotted for each subjects in the previous year examination. Okay, so let us see what are the important subjects. I have uh, ordered the subjects as per the importance level. That is a, a higher important subjects I have included in the first. Okay, so let us see. The first subject I have included is network or network theory. Uh, you have to mainly concentrate on the series and parallel connection which can be uh, for resistors and capacitors. That is, that is you will be given some uh, resistor combination or uh, capacitor combination and you have to find the equivalent value. Such type of questions can come and also network analysis. Uh, this uh, In this you will be given some network and you have to analyze for uh, either current or voltage like that. Then the main theorems you have to concentrate that is Kelvin's theorem, Norton theorem and superposition theorem. You have to solve the network using these theorems. Then the main and the very important which is Kritzow voltage law, current law and nodal analysis. Uh, there won't be, I have not seen any question, uh, question paper without at least one of uh, question from this area that is KCL, KVL or nodal analysis question. And also you have to concentrate on the two port uh, network parameters. Uh, you have to only go for the basics of those but i will i will suggest you to concentrate on these areas that is series and parallel connection and network analysis and theorems and the no uh, the crutch of uh, current low voltage low like that problems okay so anyway the network is uh, highly or the most important subject then comes the network uh, the uh, analog ele uh, electronic subject we have to mainly concentrate on the op amp then um, you have to mainly uh, study the amplifiers where you have to concentrate on the gain, efficiency, power and also there I have uh, seen questions with uh, power conversion to dB. So uh, dB values you have to find. They will be giving some ratios. You have to convert it into dB or uh, in reverse you have to find. Then the diode equation and also oscillator. Uh, then the most important topic is uh, in analog electronics is transistor, the mode of operation. And uh, you have to find the mode of operation of the transistor circuit which is given to you. And also biasing. And uh, uh, regarding the transistor, you have to also concentrate on the current gains for various configuration. That is common emitter, common base and common collector. So these are the important topics of analog electronics. Then comes electromagnetic theory or EMT. Uh, you have to uh, mainly concentrate on the transmission line properties uh, in EMT because I have seen a lot of uh, question papers with the transmission line questions. It can be from the capacitic impedance or voltage standing wave ratio or a reflection coefficient or matching. And also you have to study the skin depth, dielectric loss and the antenna problems. Here again you have to uh, study for the antenna power uh, gain in dB like questions can come. Okay, the next important subject you have to concentrate is electronic instrumentation and measurements. Here you have to mainly concentrate on the various bridges such as Wheaston bridge, Kelvin bridge and Megar and voltmeter, ammeter. So, such problems can come. And also you have to study the error analysis of various components. Uh, you have to find the, uh, the percentage of error associated with the circuit or while measuring the uh, circuit with a faulty uh, device. Okay, so uh, like that problems can come for uh, this area and also the transducers, there are various type of transducers, pressure ultrasonic type of transducers, so that are also important and about the tolerance, you know that the resistance uh, are associated with some tolerance percentage or values, so uh, such type of questions can come for the series and parallel connection, tolerance values is important and also here in this session you have to concentrate on the Analog to digital and digital to analog converters. Okay, so that is the another uh, important subject. Next is very very important which is digital electronics or digital. Here you have to study the Boolean simplifications. Uh, I'm sure that one question will be surely from the Boolean simplification. It can be either using connected with a circuit or uh, without a circuit. That means directly an expression will be given to you to simplify and to find the result. 
or uh, some combinations of uh, of the options you have to select to obtain a uh, result like that questions can come the number systems is very important you have to study the binary decimal octal and hexa number system and the conversions okay then k map simplification ic gates flip flops then ttl the memories dram and sram then mux dmux encoder and decoder so these are the main important areas of digital electronics so when you uh, see the syllabus of the technical assistant and isro scientist you don't have to go for the very details uh, or very tough areas like the scientist the syllabus is comparatively simple as compared to the scientist but anyway you have to uh, concentrate on the core areas of the subjects okay the important subjects are signals and systems you have to uh, concentrate on the transform that is laplace transform fourier transform and isa transform basics only is required then signal problems can come that are can come from various signals uh, impulse signal or uh, unit step signal or like that uh, basic problems can come from signal and system then another important area is radar in this you have to concentrate on the radar range equation about the doppler effect and the time so these problems i've seen in various question papers that is uh, regarding the doppler effect in order to calculate the uh, doppler frequency like that questions can come so uh, the radar is also very important area then mu p and mu c microprocessor and microcontroller you have to study the basic important registers of the microprocessor and controller memory organization basics also you should know and the main instructions can also come or uh, it can be related to the registers the areas of the registers also are very important uh, especially for the 8051 the important registers also you should study that is a special function registers okay next subject is edc okay in the edc you have to study the basic features of mosfet uh, some problems can come from that area then uh, the diff drift and the diffusion uh the uh, what are these phenomena and uh, some questions can come come from this areas also okay so that is the next subject the other subject is semiconductor theory and material science this is also very important here here you have to concentrate on the electrons and holes and their mobility and uh, their concentration and all then about the semiconductors then pmos nmos dielectric constant and superconductors so uh there are also uh, several questions uh, in the semiconductor and material science subject that is also very important then the next subject is communication systems in that you have to mainly concentrate on the modulation schemes modulation index also uh, for various uh, modulations that is analog and digital modulations are there then the codes the chord length then bandwidth channel capacity then sampling rate nyquist rate uh, all these are important for the communication systems okay so these are the main important subjects if you are going for a exam preparation of isro technical assistant and also you have to concentrate on the uh, general aptitude area uh, you have to mainly concentrate on the ladder problems and also the train problems uh, age problems okay so uh, like that questions can come from the general aptitude session also but you have to mainly concentrate on your subject then concentrate on the aptitude because there will be only three or four questions or maximum six questions from the uh, general aptitude aptitude session the rest all the questions will be from your subject and these are the important subjects and these mentioned are the important topics from each subject so i was receiving a lot of requests to uh, mention about the uh, important topics for each subject so this is uh, your uh, this is your answer that is this is these are the important areas for each subject so i'm telling it again uh, you don't have to uh, go for really tough questions or areas uh, because it is for the technical assistant post okay so this is relevant if you are uh, preparing for technical assistant post of hsfc or sd sdsc or bssc so there is a lot of recruitment uh, going to happen for the technical assistant post especially for electronics there is a lot of vacancies so if you are applied for any of these post you can study these areas okay now let us see uh, the mark division for each subjects for the previous year technical assistant examination next let us see the uh, number of questions been asked from uh, various subjects for the previous year isr technical assistant examination okay so uh, if you don't know anything about the exam pattern 
the uh, question numbers varies for various locations. For the HSFC location, there are uh, 60 questions. So, for HSFC location, there are 60 questions and uh, the number of uh, marks for correct question is 3 and for one uh, wrong question or each wrong question, one mark will be deducted. Likewise, the mark is uh, being allotted. That is 60 questions and 3 marks for each question means total 180 marks is for the uh, technical assistant uh, examination for HSFC location and for the VSSC location for technical assistant, uh, there are 80 questions and 3 marks for each correct question. So, uh, 8 threes are, uh, sorry, 4 marks for each correct question. Then 320 marks is a total marks. 1 mark is deducted for each wrong answer. So, if the exam is for VSAC location, then the total marks is for out of 320. That is total 80 questions will be there. Okay, so now let us see the number of questions being asked from the each subject for uh, 2017 and for 2019, which is a very latest uh, examination. So, first let us see the number of questions being asked from each subject for 2017 uh, technical assistant examination. Okay, so for 2017, for digital electronic subjects, there were 18 questions. For electronic instrumentation and concentrating on the ADC, there were total 10 questions. For C++, there were only 1 question. For communication systems, 9 questions were there. For analog electronics, there were 18 questions. For EMT, 3 questions was there. For radar, 3 questions. Mu P and Mu C, microcontroller and microprocessor, 3 questions. Semiconductor theory and material science, two question. EDC, one question. Network, there were six questions. And general aptitude, that is maths, six questions. So, uh, the largest number of questions were asked from digital electronics, electronic instrumentation and EDC, communication systems and analog electronics. So, this is the data for 2017 technical assistant examination for VSSE location. So, total 80 questions were there and 18 questions from digital electronics uh, for electronic instrumentation 10 questions, communication 9 and analog electronics 18 questions. Okay, now let us see the 2019 uh, examination data. For network, 13 questions were there. For semiconductor theory and material science, 5 questions. Analog electronics, 24 questions. Signals, 4 questions. Mu P and Mu C, 5 questions. Digital electronics, 11 questions. General aptitude, 4 questions. EDC, uh, that is electronic devices and circuits, 4 questions. Radar, 1 question. Control systems, 1 question. Communication systems, 5 questions. And EMT, 2 questions. So, the largest number of questions were asked from network theory, uh, uh, analog electronics and digital electronics. So, if you see or if you compare both the uh, examinations of 2017 and 2019, the largest number of questions were asked from one, digital electronics is common and analog electronics is common and also from uh, the network and here communication system. Here also there is five questions been asked in 2019 also okay so these are the main these circled subjects are the important subjects that is these are the subjects you have to first cover then cover the next subjects and the important topics okay so this 2019 examination was also for vssc that is this uh, data is from the vssc examination question paper which consists of again 80 questions and total 320 marks Okay, so these are uh, the question on uh, division for each subjects. So if you see this data, you have to mainly concentrate on digital electronics, instrumentation, communication and analog electronics and network. Here also network, semi, uh, sorry, analog electronics, digital and communication systems. So you have to mainly concentrate on these areas and then concentrate on the other subjects. Okay, so... Uh, that's all for this video. I hope uh, this video was useful for your preparation because there is a lot of vacancies and recruitment going to happen for the technical assistant post for ISRO's various locations such as HSFC, SDSC and VSSC. Okay, so uh, I hope that uh, you can use this data for your preparation. 
So if uh, this data was useful for your preparation, please give it, it a thumbs up and also share this video with all your friends who is preparing for the same. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.